mainland provinces, in particular Guangdong, and Hong Kong can draw on each other's strength. The two sides may join hands to develop overseas business along the Belt and Road for win-win outcome, and they may achieve coordinated development and greater integration in the building of the Greater Bay Area. In my view, more potential can be further unleashed in the following five areas. First, the development of comprehensive logistic hubs with land, sea, and connect air connectivity. Guangdong and Hong Kong may, con may connect and coordinate their ports, airports, railways, and expressways, and jointly establish world-class clusters of ports and airports, as well as logistical centers. They may jointly open new air routes and rail links and jointly participate in the investment and development of ports, railways, airports, and other infrastructure along the belt and road. Second, a combination of professional services from Hong Kong and project contracting from Guangdong. Guangdong ranks first in China in terms of volume of contracted projects in the Belt and Road countries, while Hong Kong has noticeable advantage and the rich experience in legal consulting, business development, risk assessment, project supervision, and business arbitration. As a result, Hong Kong and Guangdong companies can, can be each other's perfect partner as they explore together project contracting markets in the Belt and Road countries. Third, the TCL model. The Chinese telecommunications company, TCL, has its headquarters in Shenzhen, production base in Huizhou, and overseas business through Hong Kong. The company has already put in place a global sales network. Guangdong and Hong Kong may replicate this model and work hand in hand to build manufacturing industrial chain oriented towards international markets. Fourth, the Tencent model, under which a Guangdong company gets listed and financing in Hong Kong. As the international financial center, Hong Kong has topped global IPO markets for years in a row. It has also the world's largest offshore IMB market and Asia's largest asset management center. The city can provide mainland companies with low cost and diversified financing channels as they are going global. Fifth, industrialization of Hong Kong research achievements in Guangdong and the commercialization of Guangdong research achievements in Hong Kong. Both Guangdong and Hong Kong have globally advanced scientific research capability. Hong Kong understands the latest international trends and technological standards and enjoys global market, marketing networks. It is also the major IPR trading center in the region. Guangdong's strength lies in high corporate input in R&D, fast transformation of research achievements and strong manufacturing capability. The two sides may jointly build centers for advanced production and research uh, innovations and jointly develop high-tech industries such as new energy vehicle, solar PV, LED new light source, and biopharmaceuticals. Cooperation between Hong Kong and mainland, in particular between Hong Kong and Guangdong, will not only benefit the two sides, but also benefit all countries along the Belt and Road and other related countries.